We did a bit of an introduction to substitution and elimination in last year's material, um, but this is when you're really starting to use it to its full potential. So let's review both of these concepts. So first, let's say you're given two equations, y equals x plus 5 and y equals 6x minus 4. And let's say we're asked to solve the system of equations. Well, first off, what does that mean, solve the system? Well, that means that if these two lines were graphed, where would they intersect, right? At what points would they cross each other? So let's start by using substitution. So what do we do first? Well, they're both already isolated for y, right? So if y equals this and y equals this and y equals each other at that point where they're crossing, then I can just say this equals this, right? I can say x plus 5 is equal to 6x minus 4. That's substitution, right? So now we solve for x. So I bring this x to the right-hand side. I can bring this negative 4 to the left-hand side. And I'll have 5 plus 4 equals 6x minus x. Or in other words, 9 equals 5x. Divide both sides by 5. x equals 9 over 5. Okay, and then how would I solve for y? Well, I already have a definition for y. I actually have two. y equals x plus 5 and y equals 6x minus 4. It doesn't matter which one of these I use, I can plug this x value into either one and I'll get the same answer. Let's use the first one, it looks a little bit easier. So y equals 9 over 5 plus 5, okay, I need a common denominator, so 9 over 5 plus 25 over 5, add those together, you're going to get 34 over 5, so that's my y value. So the solution here is the point 9 over 5, 34 over 5. That's the point in which these two lines will cross. Now that's substitution. What if I want to revisit elimination? Elimination. What do I do? Well, I set them up like this. y equals x plus 5. And then right below it, I write the other one. y equals 6x minus 4. And now I want to look at them and say, is there anything here I can cancel if I were to subtract or add them together? And it's like, yeah, the y's, right? They're both 1y. So if I just do this equation minus this equation, y minus y is 0, and they will be eliminated. That's why it's called elimination. So I don't even have to change anything. This is a pretty straightforward question. So I'm just going to subtract. y minus y is 0. x minus 6x is negative 5x. 5 minus negative 4, that's like 5 plus 4, which is 9. So I get negative 5x plus 9 is equal to 0. Move the 5x to the other side. 5x equals 9. Divide both sides by 5, x equals 9 fifths, just like that. Okay, so I get the same x value. Now, what about the y value? Well, now if I want to use elimination for this, you would say y equals x plus 5, y equals 6x minus 4. But you notice these x's won't cancel, right? I need to eliminate the x's to solve for y. So I need to change, let's say I want to change this one, that might be the easiest way to do it, by multiplying by 6. So 6 times this equation here, you'll get 6y equals 6x plus 30. Okay, and now you can subtract, right? So you, that one's changed to this. So I have this equation and this equation. I'm going to subtract those. So y minus 6y is negative 5y. That's equal to 6x minus 6x is 0. So I've eliminated the x's. Negative 4 minus 30 is minus 34. Now I can solve for y. So now divide both sides by negative 5. y equals negative 34 over negative 5, which those negatives are going to cancel. You get 34 over 5. You get the exact same y value and the exact same x value you got using substitution. So regardless of which method you decide to use, you're going to get the same answer, or you should get the same answer if you're doing it correctly. Let's look at another example, and we'll use elimination again. Let's say we have uh, 4x minus 3y is equal to 9, and we also have 5x plus 7y is equal to 11. How can I eliminate something here? So let's say I want to start by eliminating the y's. So I have to multiply both equations by some number that will make those y's look similar. So instead of there being a negative 3 and a 7, you know, they both have a similar coefficient on the front. So maybe I multiply this equation by 3. So I get 15x plus 21y equals 33. And then I multiply this equation here by 7. So 4x times 7 would be 28x 
and then you get minus 21y equals 63, right? 9 times 7, you get 63. Because now, so these two are gone, I have these two new equations, and I can add them together. And I say add them instead of subtract like last time, because if you add 21y and negative 21y, that becomes 0, and I eliminate the y's. So you just add or subtract, right? Whatever, it, whatever you need to do to eliminate your terms. So 15x plus 28x, you get 43x. Like we said, 21y plus negative 21y becomes 0. And then 33 plus 63, you're going to get 96. Divide both sides by 43. x equals 96 over 43. So that's your x value. And that's equal to like approximately 2.23. It's a long decimal, right? It keeps going, but you can leave it as a fraction if you want. Now let's say you want to solve for your y value this time. That means we have to eliminate the x's. So we're going to start the same way. 4x minus 3y equals 9, and 5x plus 7y equals 11. So last time I multiplied the equation with a 3 by 7, and I multiplied the equation with a 7 by 3, so that those two terms became the same. So we're going to do the same thing here for the x's, right? I'm going to multiply this by 4, so that I get 20x plus 28y equals 44, right? So multiply that whole thing by 4. Then I'm going to multiply this one by 5. So you get 20x minus 15y equals 45. And now I'm going to subtract, right? Because they're both positive 20x, so I'm just going to subtract. So 20x minus 20x is 0. 28 minus negative 15, that's like adding. So you get 43y. And then 44 minus 45, you get negative 1. Divide both sides by 43. y is equal to negative 1 out of 43 which is approximately equal to negative 0 0.023 if you want the approximate answer. But overall, your answer is going to be 96 over 43, negative 1 over 43. That is the point in which these two equations cross over or intersect. Okay, let's do another one. Uh, let's go back and do substitution again. So let's say I have those same equations actually. So 4x minus 3y equals 9 and 5x plus 7y equals 11. Um, and I'm going to call this one equation 1, and this one here can be equation 2. And let's say, all right, I got to do my substitution, but unlike the first question, these aren't already you know, solved for y or x, right? So I have to rearrange one of these. So let's say I want to rearrange the second one here. Let's say I want to solve it for x, so I want to isolate x. So you move 7y to the other side, 5x equals 11 minus 7y. Divide both sides by 5, therefore x equals 11 minus 7y over 5. So I have this new equation 2, so I don't need this old one anymore. I have this new one. I can now substitute in 2 into 1. So I'm going to sub 2 into 1. I'm substituting equation 2 into equation 1. So wherever I see an x in here, I'm going to replace it with this new definition. So 4 times x, but instead of x, I write this thing here, 11 minus 7y over 5 minus 3y equals 9. Now we solve for y. So you can multiply this thing here out. You'll get uh, 4 times 11 is 44 over 5. So I'll just write 44 over 5. And then 4 times negative 7, that's negative 28y over 5. And I want a common denominator, I think. So I'm going to make that negative 3y into negative 15y over 5, and then that's equal to 9. Move that 44 over 5 to the right, so I'm left with minus 28y over 5 minus 15y over 5 equals 9 minus 44 over 5, just like that. Um, the 9 can become 45 over 5, right? So that's just going to be 45 over 5. Uh, 45 over 5 minus 44 over 5, well, that's just going to become a fifth, right? 45 minus 44 is 1. And on the left-hand side, negative 28 and negative 15 together make negative 43y over 5. Okay? Uh, you can multiply both sides by 5s. The 5s are going to go away. You could have done that actually in the previous step. You're going to get negative 43y equals 1. 
divide both sides by negative 43, you get y equals negative 1 over 43. So that's your y value. Again, same answer that we got using elimination. Uh, you can then sub this answer into this here. So I'm going to sub in to 2. So sub this answer into equation 2 up here because that's already defined for x. So x is equal to 11 minus 7y, but instead of y, I put the answer for y, so negative 1 over 43, all over 5, and then you calculate this. So what is that? Uh, you get 11 plus 7 over 43, all over 5. All that is is 11 over 5 plus 7 over 43 times 5. So you can split that up, a fraction like that. And there's different ways to do this, right? We're just going to simplify it manually like this. Uh, I'll multiply this here by 43 on the top and bottom. So there's a common denominator. So times 43 on the bottom, times 43 on the top. And what you're going to get is 473 over 215 plus 7 over 215. That equals 480 over 215, which reduces to 96 over 43. That's your simplified answer for x. You didn't have to do it this way, right? You could have simplified it in a different way, however you're comfortable with. But once you start working, you kind of just keep working until you get your final answer, right? So for x and y, you get the exact same answers as you did when you use elimination. And that's it.